Hi, my name is Phil, and this is Filling in the Blanks. Today, we're going to talk about how to save data while using your Starlink. Every day, people are asking in the Facebook groups, what data plan should I go on? Is 10 gig enough? Is 50 gig enough? Or do I have to go unlimited? The vast majority of responses say that you have to go unlimited. And that's usually followed up by comments such as Starlink is lying when they're tracking your data usage, or you can't go a few hours without blowing through 10 gig of data. Well, today, I'm going to show you how you can actually save data by setting up your devices correctly. And you can actually go a long time using either the 10 gig or the 50 gig plan. So stay with me and I'll walk you through this. First, let's go over the differences between a cellular connection, your home Wi-Fi connection, and your Starlink connection. There are some pretty key differences between it and you need to know this so you'll understand how you can actually save data. First, a cellular connection is often referred to as a meter connection. Why? Because historically, you have been charged for the amount of data that you actually use. Actually, somewhat similar to Starlink. And there's also unlimited plans, but your data usage actually still plays a part in it. Often carriers will reduce your speed based off of the amount of data that you've used. Now, your home Wi-Fi connection, over the years, that's been generally known to be unlimited. So computers and devices treat a Wi-Fi connection different, and it's pretty much open season. Whatever the device wants to do, it can do it over a Wi-Fi connection. Whereas cellular, it often throttles back and stops certain activities from happening because it knows that you're gonna get charged for this. Now with Starlink, your devices are connecting to it via Wi-Fi and like cellular, Starlink is charging you for the gig that you use, unless you're on the unlimited plan, of course. So as far as your phone is concerned, Again, you're on Wi-Fi. It thinks it's open season. I can do whatever I want. You're not going to get charged for it. But that's not the case. And there are settings to change on your phone that can treat it more like a cellular connection where it's going to throttle back and not do those tasks that are bandwidth intensive and are going to cost you money. The first setting that we're going to look at is the most important one of them all. It is setting up your Wi-Fi connection properly. I'm going to show you this on an iPhone. However, the settings on an Android are very similar. First, go into settings, then go into Wi-Fi. And here you can see I'm connected to Bodhi. Bodhi is my Starlink connection. Below it, it says low data mode. That's exactly what we're trying to achieve is low data mode. So to set this up, you'll see the eye with the circle around it to the far right. Press on that. And we can see that low data mode is currently turned on. By default, this is off. So for your connection, you need to turn it on. So let's read what low data mode means. Low data mode helps reduce your iPhone data usage over your cellular network or specific Wi-Fi networks you select. That's the Starlink. When low data mode is turned on, automatic updates and background tasks such as photo syncing are paused. This is exactly what we want. We don't want to have our phone syncing over the internet when we're paying for every gig of data that we use. So by turning this off, it stops the Apple updates from coming through for your apps, for your phone, and syncing your photos to the cloud. This saves a ton of data just by turning this on. I think everybody knows that streaming video is also a big culprit when it comes to using up data, but there are settings that you can change in there as well to help reduce the amount of data, actually quite significantly. So we're going to start with the big one, YouTube. YouTube has a setting that you can use to reduce the data that's being used. So I'll show you where this is. First, go into your YouTube app. And then on the bottom right corner, you'll see you press on that. And the top right hand corner is the gear icon. Click on that for settings. As we scroll down, you'll see video quality preferences. Press on that here. You can see over mobile networks and on Wi-Fi. Again, this is where typically it thinks that Wi-Fi is open season, but in this case with Starlink, it's not. So we want to go into Wi-Fi and change it to Data Saver. Data Saver is going to bring down your video quality so that you're using less data. And again, it is quite significant. The next popular app that we're going to look at is Facebook. Now, Facebook also has data saving options that you can enable to help keep your data usage low. So first, go into the Facebook app and on the bottom right hand corner, press on menu. From here, scroll up and you'll find settings and privacy. 
As you continue to scroll up, you'll see cellular data usage. Yes, I know that this is a Wi-Fi connection. However, this is where the settings are stored. Here you have video quality. For video quality, change this from optimized to data saver. And as it states, up to 40% less data will be used by selecting this option. The next is on the video playback. Change this to never. What you don't want is videos automatically playing, even though you don't want to actually watch them. It does not prevent you from clicking on the video and watching it. It's just simply not going to automatically start that video for you, hence saving data. The final app that we're going to look at is Prime Video. The settings in here will be very similar to that of other streaming apps, such as Netflix or Disney. So what you learn here, you can apply to those other apps as well. So go into Prime Video and you'll see the top right hand corner has the profile picture. Press on that. And then the gear icon is displayed. Press on the gear icon. Now the first item in the list is streaming and downloading. Select that. And once again, the very first item in the list is streaming quality. This is where we want to be. There are two settings that we want to look at here. First is the streaming quality. Make sure you're set to good. Good is the lowest quality. As you can see, 0.6 gig per hour is far different than the best quality at 5.8 gig per hour. So you can see where people are commenting that you'll blow through a 10 gig data plan in no time. If they don't have these settings set up, yes, they will. But by setting this up, you can watch multiple movies under your 10 gig plan, but you'll be lucky to get one movie under the best setting. The next is right below this. It says use highest quality on Wi-Fi. Again, it thinks that Wi-Fi is free, but it gives you the option to turn that off. So make sure that this is turned off so that you will only use the good quality, which is still great. You'll hardly notice the difference when you're watching on your phone or even a small TV if you're camping. So by making these settings changes, you're going to extend out your data availability a long ways. And as a final general tip, if you don't plan on using the internet, unplug your Starlink. If the Starlink is unplugged, you're not using data. That's clear cut. But sometimes you still need one phone connected. In that case, don't assume that if you're not using the phone and it's sitting there, that it's not using data. That's not the case. No matter how many settings you turn off on that device, it's still using some data. So disconnect from the Wi-Fi. That is your best option. So if you still need to keep one phone active just for communication, keep that connected on, on through Starlink. Make sure everything else is disconnected from Wi-Fi and turn it on only when you need it. That will absolutely help save you data. For myself, I have a 10 gig plan and I can go several days using my phone frequently I can be on Facebook, I can be watching YouTube videos, and I can watch for several days and not come close to hitting my 10 gig limit. So I know that this is possible, but I also know that this is not for everybody. If you have a full family that everybody wants to be streaming Netflix and everybody wants to be keeping up to date with information, you are going to go through a bit of data. But by turning these options on, on all of your devices, you're going to significantly reduce it. And I guarantee you will be surprised with the results. I hope this information has been helpful for you. If it has, please like and subscribe to the channel. I have several other videos that offer up great information as well and more to come in the future. So thanks and have a great day.